Welcome back to ukulele. <coughs> oh, wow. That was a good, that was a good start. <laughs> okay. So Ellie's going to talk about uh, Ellie, this, the fucking political person of this group, of this pairing. He's going to talk about why uh, Capital B is stealing all the books in well, the world. What is he doing? I mean, I don't know what he's doing in, in terms of the plot, but right. in terms of, of other things, he's basically creating a monopoly. Right. So that he's the only person in town who can sell books. Mm. And he can, he, he gets to set the prices of books. He gets to collect all the taxes and he'll make a fuck ton of money wow. out on this. What a dick. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. Mm -hmm. That makes sense though. Ah, balls, I fell. Oh no. Oh, um, we don't have any. <laughs> I, I doubt Ivory Towers has one. Aww. They're fucking evil. They're evil corporation. They, they are, this is true. So yeah, the reason why uh, there are comparisons to be made uh, between uh, Ivory Towers and Microsoft is because what happened was Rare, Rare, the, or so Rare, the company that used to make uh, these games, the Banjo Kazooie games, uh, Donkey Kong 64, uh, they made uh, a, a James Bond uh, game, one of the first like FPS games, shooter games, mm -hmm. uh, and a bunch of other amazing games. Uh, I got the page. What's up, page? What's up? <laughs> what? Oh God, it's it's the door of the explorer. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's the map. Hey, page, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your sex tape. I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful one book. The one book. How much is one of those worth? The one book is incredibly powerful. One book to rule them all. One book to find them. One book to... To, s to s something them all in the darkness. find them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if Godzilla be a lot of power within, his crooked company would have the power to rewrite the universe. Um, oh shit. Okay. Luckily, yes, pages have fled the one book and gone into hiding. Without pages, the one book is just an empty shell. If you use me to unlock one of the grand homes in the factory, we can transport to another world and search for more of my things. You're creepy, dude. Don't worry, we'll help you, Pagey. Come on, Lily, let's find one of those grand tomes and search for more pages. All right. How does, like, Dr. Duck or something? Yeah, Dr. Quack. Dr. Quack, like, not seen them. How has anyone not seen them? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I just kind of walked in here. They didn't really stop. They didn't really do much to stop me. Yeah. There's no security. There's no, like, I feel like there should anything. be more security. This giant-ass fucking corporation, yeah. Yeah. I guess, I guess all the money went to the fucking giant gold statue. Yeah. So what's up, like in, like in the fifth, like in the best episode of Family Guy, mm -hmm. when uh, Mayor West had that Diggum statue built, uh -huh. they had a solid gold. Right, right. And then everyone got mad, and then he fucking uh, he banned gay marriage. Yeah, yeah it's my favorite episode. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Mayor West, you fucking maniac. Blah 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 blah. Yes, I know. Okay. So I learned uh, basically the most useful move in the game, which uh, is is pretty much. See, okay, there was a move like this in Magic Kazooie, but the difference was you could do that. You could do that move whenever, but in this with this move you have to like uh, manage your power meter, like your stamina, basically. Oh, that's good. Yes, it makes it more realistic, I suppose. Yeah. And you can collect butterflies to restore it, so it's not like you're gonna run out. Nice. I can do this now. And there's no reason to not do this if you have enough if you have enough like stamina because you can just go wherever now. Makes things much more helpful. Look, Lily, a pagey and a KG. Amazing. Uh, good one, guys. Help! Capital B's corporate minions locked me in this. Corporate? Corporate, yeah. Corporate. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the fucking uh, the little enemies, the little goblin things are called corporates. Like corporate, but they're like <laughs> they're like gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> they got silly names. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I got, I got solved puzzle, but I don't think it's the right move yet, so I can't do it now. So you. <laughs> you don't have the corplets? No, you don't. <laughs> you little fucking corplet. You're a corplet, and you suck. <laughs> hey, you made the first grand tome. The gate drums are magical gateways in New World. Tiger Tower seems to have captured my mini, but only us pages can unlock them for you. It's down the switch. If you have enough pages, you can unlock it for you. Yep. So in uh, in Magic Kazooie, you collected uh, jigsaw pieces called jig called jiggies, and they pretty much really? <laughs> and they pretty much serve the same purpose. They it's unlock the new worlds. Is Bowser and Snake. Oh, you know what? I never thought of that. I never fucking realized that their names are the same. Also, fun fact: the mayor of DC's last name is Bowser. I knew that. I I know Muriel Bowser. 
I only know that because I only know her name because of that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, funny name. She's a black lady. She is. And she's fun. I like yeah? her. Cool. I've heard oh. mixed reviews. <laughs> just, just like this game. <laughs> Alright, the first to World 1. Let's go. Okay, so what happened, uh, why this game took so long to come out. Uh, so Rare used to be owned, the company that made these games used to be owned by Nintendo. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they made these games for the N64 and they were all awesome and groundbreaking and See, like, yeah, Ocarina of Time was, like, one of the first, like, 3D games, adventure games, but I think Banjo Kazooie kind of perfected it. Yeah. Um, we could play that sometime, but, uh, no, thank you. it's, uh, yeah, so I, I always prefer those games because they, they, they just felt better and they were better made, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, and it all was well and good. They made Banjo Kazooie, it was really great, and they made. Yep. I have to. I must. Come on, Quillet, get over here. This camera's. The camera's not always great in this game, I'll say that. Okay, uh, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Okay, cool. Made it. Alright. Obligatory jungle level. Okay. Uh, so what happened was, I'm just gonna go around and find uh, pages. I've done this level before, I haven't found all of them because it was like 25 pages in each level. So I haven't found... What did you need per level? Uh, I think I only need three right now to, uh, to progress. So I'm probably just gonna like... Uh, just find as many as, as many as I need and then like progress probably just to okay. save time. Yeah, so it doesn't get too boring. But we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean okay. I kinda wanna get all of them just because <laughs> yeah, go yeah. back to that butterfly. I'll get them all eventually. Maybe not maybe not in the uh, in, in, in the on, on recording, but eventually. Did you just eat a fucking butterfly? Sure did. I'm a lizard. That's what we do. Yeah. We yes, eat bugs. You do. <laughs> oh god. All you think of now is that fucking uh, terrible Godzilla movie where in 98, where Godzilla was like a giant lizard, basically. Uh, and they that, and they you? lured him by, uh, well, not the recent one, the 1998 one. Uh, Did you show me that? Uh, no, I actually did the 2014 one, which was good. Um, but uh, <laughs> they lured him They lured him with fish. Even really? though lizards don't eat fish, they eat bugs. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense at all. Go get that butterfly. <laughs> I have to go with the bug glass. So I, I, I can eat them. Because you wouldn't go on stamina. Right. Well, I can eat, so, okay, to, 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 restore, to restore stamina, I have to uh, walk into them, but to restore health, I, I eat them. So I, I, fucked, I, I fucked up there, but yes, I, will, I, I, I shall be fine. I wish you this fire. Okay, so what happened was, uh, Rare was owned by Nintendo, and they made all these awesome games, uh, and then they got bought by Microsoft in like the mid-2000s, I forget what year exactly, but it happened, everyone was like, ah, oh, no, you're gonna ruin it, and... At first, it didn't seem like they were gonna ruin it. Like they had a couple of good games. Uh, they had like the, the Vita Pinata games. They had. Uh, <laughs> but it's the rice fields. I Damn it! Like I, keep, I, keep, I keep getting fucking burned. No, I don't know about the rice fields. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they made they, they made some good games for Microsoft, but it didn't feel the same. And everyone wanted a new Banjo Kazooie game uh, because that was like their probably like. Most would say that that was their crowning achievement was Banjo Kazooie because it was like such a groundbreaking game, um, but we we never got a sequel. Even though uh, even though so at the end of the second Banjo Kazooie game, uh, they hinted at, at at a third one, uh, but it never got made. So I was like, no, uh, <laughs> exactly. It was rape to our childhood. Wait, wait, go back, go back. No, I I, I can't I can't I can't get up there now. I have to get there's there's another there's another uh, move I have to get before I can uh, progress. Okay, um, so yeah, Microsoft, uh, they had Rare, they had all the rights to their characters, but they didn't make an Avenger Kazooie game yet. Hello you, what are you? He is, he is half a pagey. <laughs> half pagey, peace. I gotta turn up my capital B's enforcers and throw him to the yeah, yeah, yeah. His face is terrifying. I will find your other, I will find the rest of you. That's gross. <laughs> okay, um... So yeah, they got bought out by Microsoft, they got bought by Microsoft and everyone was like, boo. Um, so, yeah, no Banjo Kazooie games. Then, I forget exactly what year it was, I think it was like 2006 maybe, um, was when uh, they hinted at a, there was a trailer for a new Banjo Kazooie game um, on, on Xbox. And everyone was like, holy shit, yeah, it looked really good. And then uh, the game that we got was uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which I played with Sean on games on, uh, on What's the, what's the other show called? Oh yeah, Bad Influence. Uh, so you can go watch that if you want to see how uh, what a nightmare it is. Uh, but yeah, so they, they, they finally made a sequel called Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Mm -hmm. And they basically... Raped it. Yep, <laughs> I was literally about to say that. 
Because, okay, I wouldn't mind so much if the game's dialogue, if like 80% of the dialogue was like written to sort of bury Banjo Kazooie. Like the, the other two games. Like every piece of dialogue was like, oh, you guys are outdated, are outdated characters. Oh, your games were, were, were mediocre and all this shit. Like they made this Banjo Kazooie game that actively shits on Banjo Kazooie games. Both in its writing and its fucking gameplay and mechanics and everything. Uh, there's a ghost here. I have to catch it. Um, so yeah, and everyone was outraged, and everyone who grew up with those games, including John Tron, uh, who made a whole video about it. Go check it out if you haven't already. It's one of his best videos. Um, everyone was fairly upset by this because it was a uh, it's a bastardization of a of, two, of a great like series that only it only had two games, but they were two great games. Um, Why don't you go back to assemble the page and then come back to the ghost? Smart girl. Clever girl. Uh, so yeah, and that happened, and everyone was fucking ho- and everyone was like, yep, Banjo Kazooie's dead. We will never have, there will never be, there will never be another Banjo Kazooie, unfortunately. Uh, and for a while, that seemed to be the case. That was the only Banjo Kazooie game we got, and it was not a fun time. And whatsoever. Like, so, okay, so the whole point, so Banjo Kazooie is a, is a, a, it's a 3D platformer game. And you collect items. That's basically the whole like premise of it. So, and, and some people, some people don't like that. It's it's a collectathon as they call it. But I mean, it's. Did you catch it? No, I got away. I have to keep like I have to keep coming back. First of all, I'll, I'll go talk to this pig first. There's a pig over you here. You talk to a pig? Yep. Hey, pig. Is it Pengrove pig? <laughs> om nom nom. Good day to you, young warriors. Pigs would not be talking. I bet you got a weight related name. Go on then. What is it? Om nom nom. They call one Sir Scoffsort, and I'm a proud knight of Hamelot. Ha 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 ha! Seriously? I knew it. Carry on then. Tell us about your brave quest for treasure. Om nom nom nom. Indeed, one's fellow knights and I are engaged in a daring hunt for the great Rampo's sacred treasure place. Okay. Om nom nom. For security reasons, we split our search into four separate locations. Om nom nom. Whoever <laughs> one is feeling currently too buoyant do to locate them. Might thou assist in locating my fellow knights in the treasure? Sure, why not? Sure, <laughs> scoffs a lot. I know where he is. I know how to listen to this. Cool. All right. Hamelot. Ha ha. Puns. Okay. Um, there okay. it is. Go. Back here, you piece of shit. Ugh. Why do you need to catch him? Uh, there's four ghosts in each level. You catch, or five ghosts. If you catch them, you get a pagey. Uh, similar to uh, these other characters in Matrix, so we call Jinjos, which are little like weird elf things. And if you catch them, you get it. if you get if you get all of them, you get a page. So same deal there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna step into the games and chill. I'm gonna complain more about uh, Banjo Kazooie and why the fuck this game was made. Isn't this game? Isn't this fucking game? Fuck, fuck, fuck this show. <laughs> <laughs>